and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to be doing something kind of special and totally different from what I'm used to. And we're going to be answering some viewer questions with regards to the Advanced Elements Spray Skirts. Uh, we have both of them here. We have the Pack Light Spray Skirt and we do have the uh, Touring Spray Skirt. First thing I'd like to do is tell you what they're designed for and what they're not designed for. Now first, what they're designed for is one, to keep water off you and keep you dry in your cockpit. And two, um, for inclement weather, where it is really, really cold, they'll keep you warm. That's it. They're not designed for flip overs like hard kayak spray skirts. They will come off. So that's not what they're designed for. Now these two spray skirts will only fit on the advanced element kayaks and the advanced element kayaks with inflatable combing. They will not fit on the sport which doesn't have inflatable combing. So if your advanced elements kayak has uh, inflatable combing, these will work. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is the AE2007 and that's the touring spray skirt and the AE2026 which is the pack light. We're going to break these out here on the table, uh, show you how they're made and all that kind of stuff. Then we're going to go ahead and fit them up on the AE-1044. So hey, we'll be back in a minute. Oh hey guys, we're going to go ahead and unpack the pack light spray skirt. Now it comes in a nice web bag, as you can see here, with some instructions and it talks about attaching it to the inflatable combing. Uh, you cinch the, uh, the bungee. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. First thing we're gonna do is just unpack this thing and see what we have. So this is the pack light undone. Um, it, has, it has the cinch cord right here. This is when you wrap it around your chest and you go ahead, press the button in, and pull it around yourself and get it to where you want it. This section under here is the section that you go ahead and uh, pre-fit. Now, they told me about eight inches to tie a knot in a bungee, so I've done that right here. And uh, that one is ready to be set up. Now we're going to unpack the Turing model. Again, same thing, comes in this nice little web bag. Now this one has some uh, different accessories for you. You've got a nice zippered pouch right here that you can put your stuff in. Um, cell phone, if it's a waterproof cell phone or uh, whatever you want to put in that particular thing has the same drawstring system here to tighten it around your chest but what it also has that the others don't have is a set of suspenders to where you can wrap it up over your shoulder and then once you get ready to go you just lock them into place like that and you're all set uh, it has the exact same cinching system here. Um, I have pre-fit this one to the 1044 and we're about ready to go ahead and pre-fit these, both of these models, onto the 1044. So hey, we'll be back in a minute. Well, you can see here guys that I've got this uh, pre-fit and that's just get the pre-adjustments and the bungee tightness. One of the key things you want to make sure is that when you're putting this on, you want to make sure it is totally tucked underneath all the way around the back side of the, uh, the combing. So that way it should stay in there pretty firm. And what I'm doing here is just doing some final fitting and making sure everything is tucked way underneath. And I may have to pull that bungee cord to get some adjustments done here because it seems just a little bit on, loose on the fit. So what I'm gonna do now is pull this bungee cord tie a knot and now 
this is really snug and as you can see it would take some doing to get it pulled off um, and that's basically how you get that now what we're going to do later is I'm going to go ahead and get in the craft and hook this thing up so hey let's get the uh, Turing model hooked up same process here guys now this handle as you see right here this handle is a release handle reach down pull it and it'll take the uh, the spray skirt right off so doing the same thing again I'm doing a pre-fit I want it to fit right underneath that combing good and cinched up there and then I'll cinch it to fit and you shouldn't have to change that again as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure everything is tucked well underneath the combing and this is what you got to do in the boat too guys Now what I do is I hold right here and get it stretched around and this is for the first time fit. I'm just about done here and I am underneath looks pretty good again I'm going to cinch it and tie a knot and the Turing model is now installed so what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, go ahead and put these on get in the craft and go ahead and install them now again this yellow handle here is for this purpose just pops you right out of there so we'll be back in a minute well hey guys what we're doing now is we're going to take the pack light and go ahead and get it all installed here uh, got it around me uh, and all you do is put it around the nose and start doing what we did earlier is just feed it make sure it tucks well underneath the combing now the testy part I think and I don't know yet is getting it to go up over the seat and it doesn't seem to be a real major problem at all actually okay and do the same thing get it back here tuck it underneath the combing that turned out better than I thought now you would adjust this uh, to fit you so I'm gonna pull this string a little bit tighter there we go depress the little button thing And there we go the pack light is all installed it was actually really simple to get this thing installed I can see uh, I have movement for when I'm paddling and stuff like that and then when you want to get out of it uh, basically all you do is just grab the handle right here pull it and you are out so hey the next thing we're going to do is put the touring unit on we'll be back in a minute well, I have the Turing model on, guys, and this is the one with the suspenders and the nice little webbing pouch in the front. Uh, installation is exactly the same as we did with the pack light. Just get around here and then start tucking this underneath the combing. Now, the one thing I don't know yet is if my shoulder straps or suspenders are going to put too much tension uh, on this spray skirt but we'll find out in a minute first thing I want to do is get it up underneath the seat okay it is over the seat now I'm learning easier ways to do this as we go so there it is guys this thing went on really easy it's pretty snug uh, I'm not worried about it coming off uh, I still have plenty of paddle movement and stuff like that and you have this little pouch that you can put stuff in 
on the Turing model and also it's got the suspenders. Now you may have to re readjust the suspenders to get it to fit right on the cockpit of your craft. But to be honest with you, this thing fits like a glove. It's perfect. Uh, I can see the use in this in extremely cold weather if you're out and chop. Uh, it packs up into a small bag so you can always store it in the back of your craft. And uh, so if the wind picks up and that gives you a lot more chop and splash over and stuff like that, you can put this on, go off to the bank somewhere, put this bad boy on. Actually, you don't even have to get into the bank. If you can reach back behind your seat, grab your pack light or your Turing model, uh, you can go ahead and while you're in the boat, put the thing on, get it tucked in, and then continue your paddle. Especially if it's raining really bad and you get caught. Now, this is Florida. We get caught in rain a lot when we're out paddling. So to recap this thing, these two spray skirts brought to you by Advanced Elements are for use only on the Advanced Element line with inflatable combing. Uh, they will not work on anything else. Uh, but the build quality is as good as their, as their kayaks. I mean, their build quality is always top notch. Um, the installation was not difficult. It was actually pretty simple to do while I'm in the in the craft and of course that's the way you've got to do it but it just tucks right underneath the combing and uh, the key thing is is make sure when you pre-fit it pull that bungee not too tight but not too loose and then tie that knot so it's set there all the time now this I can go forward and it's not coming off you see me leaning it's not coming off so hey the pack light spray skirt which is the AE2026 and or the Turing model spray skirt, which is the AE2007. You can't go wrong with these. Again, remember, they have to be only mounted on advanced elements, kayaks with inflatable combing. I hope that answers all your questions with regards to these spray skirts. My thanks go out to advanced elements for sending these out to me. We'll see you on the next one.